In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the sequence layout settings. So if we look at this layout here, when you use load it in, it's in a bit of a random order that might not be the render order that you want. And if you've been sequencing for some time, you'll know that the order that these different lines are in will affect the way the sequence is rendered. And the interface that we use to configure all of this is by right clicking on any one of these elements, selecting this bottom item, edit display elements. And then we get this window here. So I'll just choose another one. Now, normally what will happen is in your master view, more than likely, all of your elements will have already been entered into this box here. And these are the elements that will show up on the display. If I choose another view, you can see actually these are the elements that are not in this particular view. And these are the elements that will be in the view. But let's go down uh, the settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is the one here is add. Now this is if I want to create a new view. And I'll explain why we would want different views in a moment. And it's just nice and simple, add, and I can just create one called test01. And you see now, if I scroll down to the bottom, I've created a new view called test01. And I can now move any elements to this new view that I wish. I can also use these icons to move multiple items as well. And then I can just move them around as well to affect the order that they're displayed so that's the add obviously delete will just delete that view and rename now clone is just as you would expect if you've got a view that contains all the elements that you need but you just want to maybe move them around create a new view the easiest way is to clone so i'm going to clone the master view here and this is an important one I'm going to call this, you know, I'm going to call it my master. Because this is going to override the built-in master view. Because what you probably come across is every time you start a new sequence, you're having to mess about moving these elements into the order that you like. Not the case if you create a new view. So in this case, I've called one my, this one my master. And I'm going to just do a quick sort on this so I'll just do sort groups by top by size and there you go I've got them all sorted and I could I could actually individually move them as well to my personal preference now what I must get across here is when a sequence renders it doesn't matter which of these views you have selected the rendering will be done based on whichever view you have set to master. Now, by default, the master view will be the one that is called master view here, the one that's built into uh, Xlights itself. If you want to override that, so I think my instance, my master, what I can do, I can say the view I've called my master, make it the actual master. So I click this button. And now for this sequence, this will be the master view and the rendering will be based on the way these are positioned. OK, so that's one reason why we would want to make new views. Another one is, if I come out of this, this window can get quite large and it can get full of effects and it can get very confusing. So what I do, I create individual views or specific functionality within the uh, sequencer. So if you look, if I bring this back up, you can see I've created one for singing elements, archers, top veranda, etc., etc. And if I go into those, you can see they've just got a few items. So the archers one has just the as the archers items. But it's there's an easy way to switch between these. So if I want to look at my master view I can just click like this and I will be able to see everything in my sequence if I want to do the archers I can just quickly do this and my archers view will come up and it makes it much easier to work on 
Now let's see how that new master view works when we create a new sequence so that we're not getting this big massive display. So I'm going to create a new sequence here, discard. I'll do an animation. And now this is something that's probably you may have ignored. And you can see at the moment it's set to all models, but I want to use my new view. So I'm going to say, use my master. Yeah. Or I can use my view and that's my actual master. And then just go quick start. And you'll notice when it loads up in here, it's set to my view rather than the master view. And just to make sure as well, I can go to edit display. And I'll go to my view and I'm going to make sure that this one is the master for this sequence. So whenever I load it in again, it will always be rendered against the my view window. Now I know that's a, a little bit confusing and uh, it was quite difficult to explain, but uh, I hope it, you all understood. And if not, ask questions in the comments and until next time, see you later.